What's up, everybody? This is Prime Sports Media. Welcome. I'm back at it again. But unfortunately, we have very disappointing news as we are all learning, as you have probably heard through the grapevine, that this young man right here, Kamani McLean, has now decided that he's going to enter himself into the transfer portal. Now, on Tuesday, just the other day, Tuesday was the official day for the underclassmen on these campuses around the country, these college football programs where underclassmen will have an opportunity to make a decision as to whether they're going to stay with their current university or they're going to leave. Kamani McLean has made that such decoration that he's going to leave. I'm very disappointed because when Coach Prime heavily recruited him, uh, Co Coach Prime was able to flip him away from schools like Florida State, Florida, uh, teams that were all over Kamani McLean that wanted him. Now, this young man, again, stands at six foot three, 173 pound cornerback out of Lakeland, Florida. He was ranked as the number one defensive back coming out of high school in 2023 recruitment class, according to On3 Sports. Now, this is a disappointment by all means. I am disappointed. I'm sure you are disappointed. That, look, that the young man, Kamani, is going to leave CU. I thought, let me just tell it, tell it to you like this. I really felt that he would be the building blocks of their secondary. I felt like, wow, I was looking forward to seeing his progress, his improvement over last year, his growth and development, his strength, his more confidence, because we know that Kamani McLean went under a lot of scrutiny his freshman year, um, where Coach Prime, and, and it was rumored that Kamani might have not had the best practice habits may not have had the best techniques that he was using. And Coach Prime made no bones that he had to sort of improve in certain areas. So he sort of was in a small doghouse, or it appeared like he was in a doghouse just a year ago in terms of his poor, according to the rumors that were out there, that he had poor practice habits. And if you don't practice hard for Coach Prime, you don't give it your all, you're not going to see the field. I think Coach Prime made it very clear. And I wonder if this had something to do with Kamani McLean deciding that he was going to leave as it was broken. It was a break. It was a breaking news that got all over the internet, particularly on X or Twitter or whatever we call it, that he was leaving. I'm very disappointed because. I, like I said, I was looking for the building blocks. I was looking forward to this upcoming season. They're going to be in the Big 12. The schedule is not going to be as grueling as the schedule that they had previously in the Pac-12. So I was really looking forward to seeing this young man take steps forward in his development and to really show why he was the number one defensive back coming out of high school, out of I got to show it right here again, Lake Land. I'm very disappointed. This young man um, just told us not too long ago that it was rumored and on well-off media, Deion Sanders Jr. had asked him at practice and he said, so he said that, no, I'm not transferring. Let me let you see the video in question where he said, hey, I'm not leaving. And here we go. All right. Come on, not transferring. Stop asking me. All right. Come on, come on, not transferring. All right. Come on, come on, not transferring. He said several times. He said several times that he was not transferring, and that is fair, fair use, fair use with the purpose of news reporting, critical analysis, parody, and the whole nine yard. He said, I'm not transferring, but we're dealing, let's keep this in mind. We're dealing with young men, 18, 19, 20 years old. They're going to change their mind. They may say, I mean, 
the way I look at it in college football and the college football landscape, you've got guys that commit to one school, they decommit, then they end up leaving those schools that they committed to to go to a school that maybe tried to recruit them in the first place. So as Kamani McLean is deciding to jump into the transfer portal, don't forget that CU still has an opportunity to pick up some of these underclassmen. As much as I hate to see him leave, it's obvious or it appears that he must be unhappy about something because why would he want to transfer? I, I got I to gotta put this up on the screen because Coach Prime, Coach Prime was looking forward to big things out of this young man. And let me put this up here. This is a, this is a quote from Coach Prime himself. We're, we're challenging him tremendously all year long. I'm really, really proud of Kamani. I really am. This is according to Coach Prime. He said this. Kamani McLean has three more, more seasons of eligibility and will become one of the more coveted players in college football. Spring transfer window starts in a 14-day period for underclassmen transfers that begin on Tuesday, just the other day on Tuesday. And once again, Kamani McLean has thrown himself into the ringer to join those underclassmen. This is very disappointing. This is the way college football is. You lose some, you gain some. Uh, as you get talent from the transfer portal, you're going to lose talent off your team in back into the transfer portal where guys are going to go back into it and they're going to leave your school. This is the dilemma of where college football is today. And then you got the whole NIL situation. I don't know if Kamani McLean, how much money he was getting in NIL. Is he leaving because there's another school that he wants to go to that might be offering him more NIL money? Um, I don't want to speculate here, but the, we're dealing with young players that are fresh out of high school who, when they were in high school, they were the shit. Tell the truth. They were the man. And then they go to college where they have to adapt to now trying to reestablish their reputation and who they are, where you have other players who might be getting more attention. We know that Shallow and Travis Hunter and Shador Sanders are getting a lot of attention on this team, plus NIL money. I'm going to say it again. I hate to see this young man leave. And I'm not going to disparage Kamani McLean. I, I hope wherever he goes, that he lands on his feet, that he has success wherever he goes. Because when Coach Prime was recruiting him, he was the talk of the town for everybody. We were excited. We were, we're, we were clapping and jumping up and down for joy. <laughs> All right? Like this. We were. We were very excited. Now, you see, this is where... This is an example of Coach Prime in practice last year, if you remember, trying to teach Kamani McLean certain techniques. I remember there was a video vividly where he was telling Kamani to, chuck, to tuck his chin down. And so these are the sort of things a young player like him is going to learn and has to learn from someone like a Coach Prime who played defensive back at the highest level, high school, college, and pro. And like I said, there were rumors that there was some practice habits that Coach Prime was not happy about that needed to be improved. And the thing about college football is that when you're in high school, like I said, you're the shit, you're the man. But when you go to college, just like the pros, you become one amongst many other talented young men who can run fast like you who can cover like you, who can be as physical as you. I'm going to tell you right now, I hope Kamani McLean changes his mind. I hope that he changes his mind, decides, you know what? I'm not going to jump into the transfer portal. But as of now, this is an announcement that was made. Let me uh, put this up here. I'm going to read this right here. Kamani McLean, a former five-star and number one ranked cornerback recruit in the class of 2023, was the highest rated 
signee in Coach Deion Sanders' prime's first recruitment class at Colorado after Sanders flipped the Lakeland, Florida standout away from a commitment to Miami as well as he had Florida out there floating around. There was a lot of schools that wanted to get this young man. The six foot two, 165 pound cornerback got off to a slow start during his freshman season, which by the way, everybody, that doesn't surprise me. Okay. He's a young player. He's still developing. He got off to a slow start during his freshman season and did not play a snap on defense in the Buffalo's first three games. Coach Prime told reporters that McLean needed to study proper and be on time to meetings and show up to the, you know, to the damn meetings, understand what we're doing as a scheme before he could be entrusted with more playing time. This is important. If you don't know the playbook, if you're not getting the meetings on time, if you're not understanding the scheme that they're running, then it's very hard for you to be on that football team. Cause a lot of us were saying, why is he not out there? What I mean to say is it's very hard for you to be out there on the field playing. These are some of the struggles that he had just a year ago. And I wonder, I just wonder how much of that impacted Kamani McLean in a way that made him feel like, Hmm, I want to leave. Hmm. I'm not happy here. And like, I'm going to say this again, when you're a high school star, you come out of high school, you're the man, you know, the difference between high school, the college ranks and the pros is the mental, right? Because in high school, you might be once again, more talented than everybody else. But in college, there's an equalization there where other people are talented just as you. You got now you have to raise your talent by the mental. When you get to the NFL, everybody in the NFL is fast, strong, and swift. What separates you is your study habits, your practice habits, and what have you. And Coach Prime is a pro, a pro's pro, a man with experience, and that's what Kamani McLean is going to have to do whether he stays at Colorado or he enters the transfer portal, as he has said he's going to do, I'm telling, I'm, I'm, I'm telling him right now, when you enter and you go to another school, you're still going to have to do the same thing, show up to meetings, understand the scheme, the whole nine yard. So I just want to say I wish the young man all the best if he is actually going to leave, as was reported, I'm disappointed. I mean, and there's other players that have jumped into the transfer portal. I just want to mention these players. There's seven scholarship players from Colorado right now had already entered the portal on Tuesday, just the other day, prior to McLean announcing that he was going to leave. You got a wide receiver, Tavarius Dotson, if I'm saying that correct. You've got Jacob Page, offensive lineman, Washington, David Corner, if I'm saying that correct, I, and, and you got Isaiah, defensive lineman, and you've got Wallace, who's a safety, right? And, of course, you have Slusher, the safety slusher, who has also entered the transfer portal. These are all the young, young men that Coach Prime worked hard to recruit just a year ago. And so... After recruiting a lot of these young men to the transfer portal, a lot of those young men that he got from that first class, some of them have decided to leave. And this is just the way uh, college football works. This is just the way it works. Um, but I just wish all of them the best. I'm looking forward to the spring game. I'm looking forward to the new season because once again, I'm also looking forward. I got to be honest to see, as they lose these seven players and they lose potentially uh, Kamani McLean, I'm really interested in seeing who will they get in terms of other underclass. I'm wondering how many underclassmen that wanted to play for prime are going to be trying to come on over. So we're going to see how this is going to work. I also want to say that Dylan Edward, Dylan Edward, has already put out there that he wants to have a better season than what he had last year. I'm looking forward to what that young man is going to do in terms of a running back position. And uh, with that said, everybody, this is Prime Sports Media. Um, 
Hate to see the young man leave. This is um, not what I was expecting to happen, but it's something that appears to be happening as as uh, Kamani uh, is going to leave. And, um, you know, maybe the young man is not happy. For whatever the reasons are, I'm not sure. But what bothers me, I have to play this again, is that he did at one point in time say that he was not leaving and he didn't want to be asked about it. Here we go again. All right. Lord, come on, soon. Not transferring. <laughs> Stop asking me. me. All right. Lord, come on, soon. Not transferring. As he says, I'm not transferring. I'm not transferring, but yeah, the truth. Uh, we do know that he is transferring. And um, I don't know. I just hate to see this. Uh, Coach Prime, uh, I remember, worked really hard to uh, get that young man to flip from Miami and other schools. And so um, this is a tough one. It's a tough one, but this is the way it is in high stakes college football in the 21st century. Everybody, make sure that you share this video on all your social media, okay? Everywhere, Twitter, X, whatever we call it, Facebook, whatever social medias you use, send this out. Uh, share this in your community tab if you're a content creator yourself. Let people know about the channel, Prime Sports Media. And I, like I said before, I am going to be cranking out more and more content. You'll just wait and see. I know I've been a little quiet and dormant for a while, but it's coming, and I appreciate you all and looking forward to the upcoming season. Everybody out there, peace and respect to you. Take care. Tell the truth.